government have made clear that they aim to be able to test 100,000 people a day for coronavirus by the end of April. And one of the troops leading the battle are a group of research scientists in Liverpool. And here's Professor Tom Solomon with what he's been up to. My name's Professor Tom Solomon. I lead a large research programme tackling emerging infections such as coronavirus. It's nearly seven o'clock and like every morning I try and have a run if I can then a bit of breakfast and then get to work. Never quite know what the day is going to hold ahead, especially at the moment. Tom's an NHS doctor, but also works at the University of Liverpool. All their research effort is now devoted to COVID-19. The challenges are enormous and that I've never known anything like it where everything changes so quickly, day by day, hour by hour, where you don't know what the next challenge is going to be. Today was a typical day in the era of COVID-19. First thing I did in the morning was check the national and international case count because that really affects the way we think about how rapidly the epidemic's growing. Every day, early in the morning, the university has a command and control Skype call. I then went to the hospital and saw some patients. Testing is one of the key things for our response to COVID-19. Lots of tests have become available, but they've not all been tested properly. So a key piece of research is to see which of the new tests, which are very user friendly, some of them are just simple stick tests where you can add a drop of blood. Those are great for simple testing, but we have to know that they're reliable. To test the tests, Tom's team is working with the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine. Hi, I'm Emily Adams. I am a senior lecturer at the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine and I run the diagnostics group. So the main tests that we're interested in are the sort of pregnancy style test. So something on a stick which is easy to run, easy to read and takes just 10 minutes. They're evaluating a prototype antibody test by British company Mologic. That's when someone has had a coronavirus infection and their immune system is responding to that infection by producing antibodies and we can detect those. So what we would do is put a finger prick of blood in the sample well, we'd put some running solution here and we'd watch the sample run up that test stick and if the test has worked correctly we would have a positive control line and if there is an antibody response we would also have a positive antibody line. The cost is likely to be about one to two pounds. It may be very simple and produce a result in minutes, but before it can be used by the NHS, Emily's team must investigate its reliability. Over at Royal Liverpool Hospital, specialist nurses are heading over with the samples Emily needs from suspected COVID-19 sufferers. The samples will be run on the new stick test and on the conventional NHS swab test to make sure they're accurate. Today's samples are recorded, then go into Emily's containment lab. They're prepared for testing by PhD students who've been trained in these specialist techniques. Now they're part of the COVID-19 testing effort. Emily's team has to run several hundred tests and compare them with results from teams in other locations before the stick test can be certified. It could take a few weeks. At the end of each day, as Tom heads home, his top priority is to keep his family safe from infection. I don't want to bring these clothes from the hospital into my home. And so I'm leaving them out here every day. Like many people at the moment, Tom's unable to visit his elderly parents. I do worry about them. I've had to talk to them very frankly about what happens if they do become unwell. I think the thing which is a bit distressing is that people sadly are dying and they're dying without their families. You might be a scientist, you might be a doctor, but you're also, I'm a son like anyone else. I'm extremely proud of what we're doing to be able to play a small part in the COVID-19 effort. As people used to say to their grandparents, where were you during the war? People will say to us, what did you do during the COVID-19 outbreak? Where were you? And some of us are right in the thick of it. Oh, thank you to Professor Tom Solomon. Quite sobering what he was saying there, yeah. wasn't it? About, you know, yes, he's a scientist and he's a doctor, but he's still, you know, he's still a son. That and when he gets the emotional... Very scary.